Hello everyone, my name is Vinnie Thomas from Catalyst Realty Co. In this video, we are going to understand everything you need to know about Metro Line 5. Metro Line 5 starts from Thane, passes through Bhivandi and lands up in Kalyan. This video will be divided into three parts. Uh, part number one, exact route of Metro Line 5. Number two, benefits of Metro Line 5. Who will be the exact beneficiaries, whether it is the commuters, home buyers or the investors. And part three, challenges in implementing metro line 5 exclusively brought to you by catalyst reality co starting with metro line 5 metro line 5 starts from thane west which is approximately 25 kilometers from mumbai station number one is balkum which is near kapur Baudi. station number two crossing kasheli khade is kasheli metro station Station number 3 in between logistic fields, Kalher Metro Station. Number 4, Purna Metro Station. Number 5, Anjur Fata, a very important location. Number 6, Daman Karnaka. Number 7, Bivandi. If you go straight, you are going to reach out to Wada, Daman. You have to take a right for Kalyan. Number 8, Gopal Nagar Metro Station. Number 9, Temgar Metro Station. Number 10, Rajnoli Metro Station. Again, a very important location near Bivandi Bypass. Number 11, Govegao Metro Station. Number 12, Konga Metro Station. Now we are about to reach Kalyan City and we have entered Kalyan City. Number 13, Hal Chauki Metro Station. Number 14, Kalyan Station. And finally, number 15, which will be the final stop, is Kalyan APMC. Starting with part 2, what are the benefits of Metro Line 5 and who can benefit the most? The number one benefit is the decongestion of existing routes. At present, if you travel by road or by train, the estimated time to reach Thane West Kapur Baudi is a minimum of 1 hour to 1 hour 30 minutes, depending upon the traffic. A distance of mere 15 kilometers from Gopal Nagar to Kapur Baudi takes about an hour. What if this time is reduced to 50 percent? Yes, according to MMRDA, the travel time is estimated to reduce by 50 to 75 percent, plus decongesting the road and rail network, making commuting convenient and comfortable. Isn't that a great news for commuters? Another important aspect of Metro Line 5 is its interconnectivity to various MMR regions. At present, the local train serves as the only convenient and feasible means to commute within various MMR regions of Western, Central and Harbour. This dependency is expected to minimize via the well-planned interconnected metro lines within MMR geographies. For example, Kalyan Dumbili will be connected to Thane via Metro Line 5, Thane will be connected to Vadala via Metro Line 4, Thane will also be connected to Metro Line 10 which leads to Mira Road in the Western Line. Parallelly, Kalyan and Dombivili will be connected to Navi Mumbai via line number 12. In short, Western, Central and Harbour will be interconnected via line 5, line 4, line 10 and metro line number 12. Finally, new travel routes will inculcate a completely new perspective, new landmarks, fresh approaches to locations, new opportunities resulting in increased business activity. For an example, considering the aspirational infrastructure development planned by the government, top developers like Lodha, Runwal, Paradise Group for the first time have come up with office spaces and large size mall close to residential premises all within the Dombivli belt. Some things are definitely about to change. For a honest and detailed understanding of development and investment within Kalyan Dombivli region, you can reach out to us at 981. 9811918 Coming down to part 3 what are the challenges metro line 5 faces 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एंड द ओनली क्वेश्चन हियर इज कैन दिस प्रोजेक्ट बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड ऑन टाइम द आंसर इज इट्स हाईली पॉसिबल मेट्रो लाइन फाइव इज डिवाइडेड इंटू टू फेजेस फेज वन स्टार्टिंग थाने टू भिवंडी एंड फेज टू स्टार्टिंग भिवंडी टू कल्याण वाइल फेज वन वर्क एज यू कैन सी इन दिस इमेजेस इज गोइंग ऑन इन फुल स्विंग एंड अबाउट फिफ्टी परसेंट वर्क इज कम्प्लीटेड फेज टू वर्क इज येट टू कमेंस द चैलेंज लाइज बिटवीन भिवंडी टू तेमघर एंड अप्रॉक्सीमेट डिस्टेंस ऑफ थ्री किलोमीटर्स एज फॉर ऑल अदर स्टेशन मेट्रो लाइन पासस फ्रॉम बिटवीन द रूट्स but starting bivandi to temghar as you can see here there already exists a road bridge at the center which cannot be demolished to figure this out two important proposals were at place proposal number 1 demolishing 100 of residential and commercial structures paying way for metro line proposal 2 demolishing of minimum structures and implementing a 3 km route underground It has almost been finalized that proposal two, which is underground route from Rajiv Gandhi Chowk to Temgar, will be implemented, resulting in cancellation of Gopal Nagar Station and an increased budget of seventeen hundred crore. The work for phase two is expected to start between November and December two thousand and twenty-two. Considering the experience of phase one and given the deadline of two thousand and twenty-five for phase two. that does not seems to be any other challenges at present and the work seems to be getting completed on time